Yeah. Yeah. So recently you uploaded a video on your personal channel and you welcomed Elon Musk to the humanoid robotics space and uh, mentioned that you may be joining the self-driving vehicle space yourself. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, that, 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 uh, that, well, first of all, that video, if anyone uh, watches it, was just a bad joke, which is, uh, <laughs> was inspired by my my three year old son Quirksy's current obsession with Transformers. So he, he he's he's got he's got Optimus and Bumblebee and uh, Meg Megatron and Peliatrex. We've got more Transformers than humans in the house. So when I saw Elon Musk was launching a Tesla robot called Optimus. Now Op Optimus Prime, as everyone should know, is like the king of the good guy Transformers. When I saw Elon, is he's launching a humanoid robot named Optimus, and his demonstration is a human in a robot suit. I mean, I, I, I love Elon Musk. I mean, Tesla created the whole sector of, uh, of uh, you know, environmentally responsible vehicles that people would actually want to drive. Uh, Elon, Elon is is awesome. He's contributed contributed a lot to the world, right? But uh, I mean, humanoid robotics is hard, right? And I, I, I mean, we've been working on that with Hanson Robotics for a number of years. You know, Sony and and uh, Honda and SoftBank have tried and basically fa failed with various aspects of it. These guys are smart with a huge amount of engineers and and a lot of money. So it's just for those of us working in the humanoid robotics space to see someone with no tracker track record in the space come out and say hey we're going to launch we're going to launch something that solves all the problems you guys have been working on for decades and as proof here's a human in a jumpsuit i mean this is a, <laughs> this it just, just seemed just seemed kind of funny yeah. so i'm like oh, you know if if this car company is on the verge of launching a humanoid robot then obviously as humanoid robot people with the Sophia and the Grace Elder Care robot that 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 we're we're going to run on Cardano also by the way I mean sure we can launch a car why why, why not right it's a, <laughs> but I think Easy. that the the serious thing underlying there of course is I mean that Grace robot is doing navigation which is the Elder Care robot which is a little sister of, of Sophia that we're building together with Hanson Robotics and in our, our, our joint venture, Awakening Health. I mean, that does need to navigate around the hospital, and that's running using neural nets and open cog neural symbolic AI running on, on Cardano platform. And we have a whole roadmap there where we have a new version of our, our AGI engine called OpenCog Hyperon. And in, in a couple of years, we'll be running Grace on the OpenCog Hyperon engine, backending on singularity net on cardano on new net like we're building this whole stack for intelligent agents that do move around and interact with the world and initially it's robots moving around hospitals not cars moving moving on the road so i, I would i would i would bet on us to solve the full self-driving problem before tesla just in in the sense that i mean tesla is making awesome cars and they have a great computer vision and neural net team but if to solve like full level five self-driving, you actually need full on thinking and, and machine reasoning and systems that like understand what an old lady is and what a cat is and what, what a construction project is. If, if you need some real level of understanding to solve full level five self-driving, I mean, then, then we're actually working on that full on understanding, which, which is, is perhaps needed for full human level self-driving. I, I don't see that Tesla is actually working on, on full on human level understanding that they're really working on, on more sort of plain vanilla machine learning on the massive amounts of data that, that they've, they've gathered and they haven't gotten that far with full self-driving there. I mean, Google has gotten further with, with, with Waymo. So I don't think the AI that they've created so far is going to be very helpful for humanoid robots but another feature in the robot space is getting cool demos is easy getting deployable systems that really work is is hard so i mean can tesla make a humanoid robot that goes on stage and looks cool probably i mean think about honda asimo they had that going on stage looking cool for for a long time but they eventually had to show because they, they couldn't get to a get to to a product so my actually 
a bunch of folks on Singularity Net Telegram group are, are endlessly pushing for a a Singularity Net and uh, and Tesla partnership, which is a uh, Unfortunately, I'm not here to announce to you on this podcast. I'll, I'll, Damn I'll it, the views. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even, even even though I was making fun of, of Elon a little bit in, in, in that video, I mean, I think uh, we we have a strong mutual respect for, for each other's work and they're, they're, as well as a mutual love of having fun on social media. And uh, so I, I, I think uh, we we could certainly see some serious AI and hardware collaboration between our respective companies at, 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 at some point in the future. I mean, I think that Tesla obviously has incredible strengths and machine machine vision and the interaction of machine vision with reinforcement learning is there. But I, I think with all respect, they they haven't thought that much about abstract cognition and real understanding of the world, which is what is what we're aiming for with that, with our own our own species of, of, of tech stack, and I, I think it, it baffles me that, and uh, hopefully Elon Musk, you're, you're you're watching watching this interview. I'm sure you follow Big Pay like everyone else he does. does. It, it 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 baffles me, Elon, that you're such a big fan of of, of Dogecoin. I mean, it's it's a it's a good joke, but I, I mean, Tesla is not a joke car, and there's a good reason that blockchains are not a joke right so dogecoin is kind of funny it's actually not useful for anything so i will i i think uh cardano is a real blockchain like the tesla is is a real car and uh, there's a lot of engineering underlying underlying any 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 of these things and you know humanoid robots require their own highly challenging engineering discipline and, and effort and effort also right?